Are you ready to start? You ready uh, yeah. To get the crowd's let's, attention. Or? Let's get start. Shall we start? Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Woo! Hey, I just want to thank everybody for coming, friends and family. I also want to thank Nick Parks. This we wouldn't be here without Nick. He's been uh, I've known Nick for almost a decade, and we've worked on magazine covers and and painting walls and even roller rings together over the last ten years. So I appreciate you, Nick and all the support you give. A few months ago, Nick asked me to take care of this wall here at, uh, at Shiloh. And for those of you that don't know, this used to be the MKT train station. And uh, it would come up the MKT, and it would stop here, and then it would back all the way back to the other tracks, uh, to the main tracks of the MKT line. Uh, we do have another train station in town. It's on, it's on the other end of downtown. It's the Wallbash bus station. And it too would come from Centralia and stop in Columbia and then back all the way up. There was no, never a train that came all the way through Columbia. And that one has your paintings. You painted that one too. And yes. I did paintings in that one too. So when he asked me, when Nick asked me, I was like, well, let's bookmark downtown. So, yeah, thanks, Orlando. It was kind of like Monopoly too. Let's collect some, uh, some old train stations. Um, also, for those of you that don't know, I like to reference our history, and so I was thinking about when this was, when this train station was at its heyday, and there were two artists that I kind of thought about as contemporary during this period of time when it was a train station, and that's a, a French cubist called Jean Quillion, and uh, I saw his work at Wash U, and it kind of inspired me, so you guys can pass that around or look at that later. And then there's a... Uh, a, a, a movement called the Precisionist Movement, and Charles Sheeler was part of that. And so I kind of took inspiration from this. And as my brother pointed out, this is also um, really related to the work that I did about 15 years ago at Jeff Jr., uh, which is all layer panels. So that's the historical context. Usually when I get done with artwork, it just goes up and you go on to the next project. But Nick wanted this to be a surprise. I, I tried to give him updates, and he said, no, I want to be surprised. So I thought, well, let's really surprise him. Have you guys ever seen a painting unveiling? No, who has not ever seen a painting unveiling? All right, these things just kind of exist in television and in the movies. They don't really. So I thought, well, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's have some fun. So this is based on the Columbia landscape. So if you were looking through this wall, what would you guys see on the other side, Blake? The diner. Well, the diner's there, but it's not there on this one. So try again. <laughs> so we've, got, we've got the power plant, and we've got Kingston Creek, and... What? Train tracks. Train tracks, and the reason that we're here is because of the Kingston Creek. And then we've got uh, the football stadium, all the sports complexes, and downtown, and the university. If you imagine that you're seeing that through the lenses of... Helion and Sheeler and maybe just a touch of Red Grooms and should we just do this? Okay. Uh, did you reach it? Did you reach it? Alright, ready? One, two, three, go! Wow. 